Hey guys and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patchala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And this video we are going to talk about the diseases of skin. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another 10 in 10 series where we cover each topic under 10 headings in 10 minutes and today's topic is pemphigus or we can say the major form is the pemphigus vulgaris so this is a vesicolo bullous lesion of the skin and mucous membrane wherein there is intra epithelial vesicles or bullae that are formed and the basal layer is separated from the above layer of the epithelium as you can see in the diagram the basal layer and the upper layer of the epithelium get separated and the vesicles are formed and before we get started make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications so it is a vesicle below lesion in of the skin and the mucous membrane and which is due to the autoimmune destruction of the intercellular substance between the cells so what happens in pemphigus so pemphigus what happens there is uh, a development of the immunoglobulin g now this immunoglobulin g is uh, acting against the intracellular substance which is the desmosomes of the skin and the mucous membrane so these auto antibodies which are produced in the skin and the mucous membrane which are produced by the body they destroy and destruct dissolve the desmosomal attachment because of they see this desmosomal attachment are between the cells now what happens when this desmosome attachment is lost because of the uh, autoimmune the autoimmune reaction which takes place and because of this the auto antibodies are produced by our own body see this is not from outside this is our own body is separating the cells so what happens the epithelium of the body so our body is making is doing this autoimmune reaction and because of that there is a split which is happening between the cells so these auto antibodies are produced against the desmoglein 3 and desmoglein 1 now because of that because of this there is uh, cell to cell binding is lost in the epithelium and there are bullae or vesicles which develops in the epithelium of the skin and the mucous membrane and because of these antibiotics there are these bullae or these vesicles are formed these oral lesions so there are going to be skin involvement there is going to be mucous membrane involvement in these now these oral lesion this starts as the bleb like blisters so initially they are blisters or plaques so these bleb like blisters or these gelatinous plaque initially are there but rapidly they form the vesicles or bullae so these big bullae what happens these uh, bu bullae or vesicles are formed in the skin initially they are a clear fluid but later on there is a formation of the pus and they are uh, they are in the mouth they are on the skin so immediately as soon as these vesicles or bullae are formed they rupture they rupture because they are very fragile and uh, they rupture immediately and they leave very painful superficial erythematous ulcer. So they form the red color ulcer immediately they rupture and they make the ulcer with the ragged border. These ulcers they bleed profusely and sometimes they are covered with a blood tinged exudate. So what happens the skin in case of pemphigus vulgaris we see that on the gentle traction or if you put the oblique pressure on the skin so skins come out there is stripping of the skin or the mucous membrane which we see in case of pemphigus vulgaris we call as the nikolsky sign so nikolsky sign is on applying gentle pressure the skins come out why because there is intra epithelial split which is happening because there is in the cells in the epithelium so there is the basal layer and the superficial layer they get separated so because of that the skin comes out which we call the nikolsky sign of pemphigus this is a very characteristic feature of the pemphigus uh, because uh, what happens See, initially there are uh, blisters there are plaques but later on these they form the vesicles or the bullae so these are the fluid filled vesicles or the bullae and now uh, immediately as soon as these vesicles or bullae are formed they rupture immediately and they are very painful they rupture to form the ulcers and the skin of that patient gets separated from the underlying uh, underlying tissues 
so because of that we call there is a nikolsky sign because there is on the gentle pressure or on the oblique pressure if we uh, put pressure obliquely so the skin skin come out of that person so we call it the nikolsky sign so usually they they are present on the skin over the uh, scalp trunk or umbilical areas and uh, sometimes these uh, lesions can involve the entire body but that is very serious uh, when the patient is very serious so that cases these uh, the lesions they spread over the whole body and in that case the patient can even die off of the fluid loss of the secondary infection but that is very rare that is the severe form we are talking about so the patient may die of dehydration or septicemia so what happens they are on a specific location they are usually on the scalp trunk and umbilical area because these lesions are present on the skin and the mucous membrane right so these are skin lesions of pemphigus they usually heal by scar formation so they heal see there is difference between skin lesion and the mucous membrane lesion the skin lesion usually um, heals by the scar so there is a scar which is formed on the skin lesion but on the mucous membrane the lesion heals without any scar so there is no scar uh, which is formed on the mucous membrane so this is how these lesions heal they heal automatically uh, but some ulcers they take some more times a longer time to heal and some patients with pemphigus vulgaris they have uh, sore mouth severe pain bleeding um, they are very difficult for them to eat food and sometimes there there is even false smell from the mouth so, so there is even halitosis which is seen some of the patient in pemphigus vulgaris they have got eye lesions they have ocular lesions which um, can develop in form of a bilateral conjunctivitis so there are types of pemphigus pemphigus vulgaris which is the most common type which we have already talked about so the by this time till now we have covered about the pemphigus vulgaris then the pemphigus vegetans so pemphigus vegetans is also common form of pemphigus uh, which is in all respect it is same as the pemphigus vulgaris uh, but um, uh, there are some differences is that the lesion follows the rupture of the bullae so there are oral lesion present in 50% cases of the pemphigus vulgaris and there is a typical feature of pemphigus vegetans which is the cribriform tongue so we see there is a specific pattern of the tongue lesions occurs on the tongue we call the cribriform tongue of the pemphigus vegetans which is a common feature of the pemphigus vegetans let's see vegetans as the name suggests there is going to be vegetation right so there is what happens in case of pemphigus vegetans there is papillomatous hyperplasia which is usually seen okay then comes the pemphigus foliaceous or we can say pemphigus erythematous so here this is a rare form so as the name suggests there is going to be erythema of the skin so uh, both of these lesions the pemphigus foliaceous and the um, and the erythematous they uh, have got the lesion which resembles more like the exfoliative dermatitis this is very a rare condition of pemphigus uh, now the next one is the brazilian pemphigus so this is the endemic form of pemphigus which is there in the brazil so that is why pem uh, brazilian pemphigus so what do we see in pemphigus the histopathological feature the when we take a cross section we see that there are vesicles or bullae which are present in the epithelium so there is supra basilar split so there is the a uh, superficial part of the epithelium it gets separated from the basal part right so there is a supra basilar split or there is a separation in the epithelium and we can see that the basal layer of the epithelium is attached to the we can see that is it is attached to the lamina propria and the uh, superficial layer gets split the basal layer is still intact is attached to the lamina propria is still attached to the connective tissue and we also see that there is loss of intercellular bridges also we can see there is collection of edema fluid in the in the spinous layer so within the spinous layer there is a collection of uh, fluid that is why the vesicular bullus are fluid filled right so because there is fluid which is filled in the spinous layer of the epithelium so the, this results in acantholysis which causes the disruption of the uh, prickle cells and because of this acantholysis the, there are clumps of epithelial cells which we call the zanc cells now these there are because in the vesicle in this fluid there are certain cells which are floating so these hyper hyperchromatic as you can see these are hyperchromatic epithelial cells epidermis squamated cells 
which are seen freely uh, floating in the vesicular fluid within this split within this supra basilar split within this separation within this vesicle within this uh, fluid in the spinous layer we see these floating cells we call the zang cells now zang cell is also for exam point of view it is a frequently asked to mark a question what are zang cells these are the hyperchromatic epithelial cells which are present in the uh, or the desquamator cells we can say uh, are present in the vesicular fluid in the uh, in the spinous layer of the cell in case of pemphigus vulgaris now also we see there are um, polymorph neutrophils so in the within the vesicular fluid and also infiltrate cells inflammatory cells infiltrate we can also see in this vesicle when there is pus which is formed right so all these things we see how do we treat it we give the high doses of steroids we also give the immunosuppressant uh, drugs to the patient like we do also give the methotrexate in case of there is secondary infection we give antibiotics and because uh, of these vesicles there is a fluid loss so uh, we also uh, make sure that the patient is on the fluid or electrolyte uh, so that the balance is maintained so this is about the pemphigus vulgaris or the pemphigus the most important is the nikolsky sign wherein there is stripping of the skin we also see zang cell in case of histological section or there is a supra basilar split in case of pemphigus if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section section below and there is a link in the description box below to support me on Paytm as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys. So till then keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated. I'll see you soon in the next video.